Hello. I really wanted to film um, in my living room today because it's such a beautiful, beautiful day and I would love to give you guys a really just 4K high def visual of these plants that I'm about to show you today because they are just, they're beautiful, they're just so beautiful. But of course, you guys know what this video is about. This is a compilation of plants that are really testing my patience right now. Um, this is going to be different than the ugly leaf video that I showed you not too long ago, which I will link in the description. But um, I've been doing a ton, a ton of plant care over the last few days and there have just been plants where I'm like, why in the freaking heck am I still caring for you when you clearly freaking hate me? So um, yeah, we're going to get into those. I actually put out a poll in the community or on my community tab. Sorry, I just filmed another video, so I'm just putting things away. But uh, I I put out a poll on the community tab about what you guys wanted to see, and this one was um, or it won really by a landslide. So yeah, here we go. Um, the first one is my philodendron tenu. I actually have two tenus, but they were both sort of um, a big pain in my ass when I first got them. And um, let me show you the first tenue. Uh, that is this one right here. Um, ever since I put a little bit more love and care and nurturing into it, it has definitely rewarded me and shown me that it is grateful. Um, I had this one growing on the shelf. I didn't realize a new leaf was coming out. It grew up into the shelf, which is why it looks like this but she's still really cute like look how wide she is look at how um like prominent her venation is and i'm just i love this plant so much i just love this like bronzy color that comes out from it so anyway the next tenue i'm about to show you this looked like that not long ago um it was in rough it was in rough shape and i actually included it in my like plants I'd like to glow up video and I'm glad that she at least did well but this is the other one that just really it never it never came out of that weird phase of just freaking hating me hating life hating everything both of them had spider mites at one point I wouldn't be surprised if this one still has spider mites although I'm not seeing any right now but it kind of looks like it has spider mites it's just all the leaves are like warped and mangled and gross and this one is growing in my tent i am feeding it calnag regularly which is what i have been doing to this tenue to kind of get it out of that you know like stage that looked like this but she still freaking hates me look at this leaf doing like somersaults down here what are, are you even doing i i don't know i really don't know so i have both of them in soil i am tempted to kind of change up the situation that this is in and put this into pawn and maybe it might like life more but right now she really is freaking she's pissing me off she's like you know what you can have that tenue but you're not gonna get me i'm gonna make sure i make you look like a fucking idiot and she's being she's being successful so um yeah i'm just ugh, i get disgusted every time i look at this i'm like i actually am trying well, trying harder than I did before and she still hates me so I don't know um sorry I thought I saw thrypses but it's just a uh yeah she's got some roots growing in this pole and I think before it gets a little bit too root bound in this moss I will eventually I'm just gonna move it probably in the next free pot because I just I want to try and fix this plant purely out of spite now it's like a competition between me and this plant and like I don't know if it doesn't work in pawn and she just like hates life after the repot I'm gonna slam dunk this into the trash I'm not even joking you guys like she she's not she's she's not that's it she's just not <laughs> the next one is my burly marks fantasy she is a runner and a track star look at her she looks so she's a big fat dumbo like I, I don't I don't know. I used to actually be so good at growing this plant until I wasn't. Is that a mealy bug? <sighs> oh no. What the hell is a mealy bug doing on this plant? I mean honestly. What in the heck? 
It's a little tiny baby too. It's so funny how like after a while you become so good at spotting pests where I feel like the average person, meaning like someone like my husband would be like, how did you even see that? Oh my gosh, this thing is so annoying. Honestly, I'm like tempted to just like chop the top and start over on a new pole and then just chuck the rest because this is, it's giving me mad freaking anxiety. It grows so fast that like it always just like outgrows the pole but then it just doesn't want to size up or like do anything productive for me so i don't know like right now i'm at a point where it's like do i like this plant enough to keep trying or am i wasting my time trying to be competitive you know because there's like other plants that like are much easier to grow that should have my attention that's another mealy bug I'm, I'm fuming, I'm fuming. Yeah, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna chop the top and I, don't be upset with me, but I think I'm just gonna chuck out the bottom. Like I'm gonna chop like right here, I'm gonna reroot it and I'm gonna get rid of all of this because if this thing is infested with mealybugs, I'm not, I'm not. Like what's the point in trying to like salvage it, especially on trailing plants, like getting rid of mealybugs is a, freaking nightmare and thank goodness this, this thing has been isolated because if I had to deal with mealybugs again I just might scream as loud as I can so anywho yeah this is the second one this just really really gangly and pathetic sad burly marks fantasy um honestly if I had like a terrarium I would 100% just stick it in there but I don't have one although I have been contemplating creating one for my living room because on my um on my what <laughs> in my living room i am still contemplating like a new setup for it and uh i was really really inspired by benji's new shelf area that he installed where it kind of just looks like really tall billy bookcases it goes all the way to his ceiling and he has like a built-in terrarium like right in the center of it and it's beautiful like beautiful beautiful so i don't know if i could pull off something like that nor do i think i can find shelves that can go that high because we have like nine foot ceilings i don't know how tall his ceilings are or was in his old apartment but i'm sort of contemplating something like that and i think it would be cool to try and put some of my terrarium plants in like an actual legit terrarium and like really learn how to build out a terrarium so i don't know yeah, we'll probably, I'll probably just karate chop this thing and um, just start the, the rooting process again because I'm, this is, this sparks zero joy. It actually makes heat come out of my ears and I'm, I'm not living for it. Next guy up is my Philodendron Elegans. Oh my word. I'm, I'm sick of you. <laughs> I really do love this plant. I do. It's, you know, it's very, very similar to the Mayoi, and you guys know how much I love the Mayoi. But it's just like, even when it was a larger plant and like in its like mature form, it freaking hated me. I had it on pole, I like gave it the world, and nothing I did satisfied it. And now I've started over. I basically just like chopped it back down to a stump and regrew it. And this is what she looks like and she's hating every minute of being in my care and as much as I love the um, the elegance I'm kind of tempted to just sell this because I don't know I I'm I'm at a point where if I'm not like absolutely obsessed with you like I will like my life revolves around you I just don't I don't see the point in tr in trying to like bend over backwards and do backflips for plants that like clearly just like hate me. Oh, I think my niece is calling. I need your help. Oh, I thought it was Millie. You disappointed me badly. Hi, Hi baby. More to the left. Bye, what if you move the mirror there? Okay. Look at my bouncing boy. Oh my goodness, Ansel, you're so good at bouncing. 
Look at Millie in the corner. She's just like in her own world <laughs> with her little <laughs> headphones. I can't stand it. Say bye everyone, love you. Sorry, I don't know where I left off. I got distracted by the cute children, but I think I was talking about the elegans. Um, yeah, I, I think I was saying I just don't, I, I don't see the point in trying to spend more time um, being frustrated over it if like it's just not, I don't know, if it's just not working for me. Um, I think I'm gonna give this a deadline. I think once um, I repot this, get it on a pole, maybe I'll give it like two, three months to like do something productive or do something that wows me and then maybe I'll keep it. But really this has just been more of a frustrating project for me to be honest. So this one definitely made it to that list. Every time I look at it, I'm like, no, not today. This one is quite literally testing my patience. This is my uh, Murtillo Cactus, wait, this is my, I haven't said the name in a long time. This is my uh, Murtillo Cactus Fakuri Kuri, Fakuro Kuri Uzenboku, AKA the Booby Cactus. And I, I've had this for a while, to be honest. I chopped it in 2021, I think it was. Uh, put it in here and I gave the bottom to my friend Jing. Hers has grown a new plant. Mine has not done anything. This has looked like this for like almost going on what feels like three years now and it has not grown a single bit. It's rooted um, and it's plump and it's happy. It's like taking in water. I don't think that it's unhappy, but it just doesn't grow. It doesn't do anything and I'm like, just give me something to show me that you're like alive or like, you know, you've got some pep in your step. But she has done nothing. The only thing she does is dry out. <laughs> this is my thirst. This is one of my thirstiest cacti. Um, I think this one has drainage holes. It doesn't. I don't know why I double potted it, but um, yeah, it dries out really fast. I have to water this like pretty much every week. If I don't, it gets really, really wrinkled and the boobs look super saggy. But um, yeah, I know she's alive because she plumps back up when I give her water and she's fine. But these, this new growth at the top has looked like that since I got this plant and it has not grown or done anything ever since. It is just like permanently stuck in time. I love it. Like I love, I know that you don't buy cactus what? I know that you don't buy cacti to like, you know, appreciate like the robust growth, but every single one of my cacti in my collection has grown in my care besides this one. And this is the one that I was like most excited about. So yeah, I am just a little bit disappointed at the lack of growth. I don't know if maybe it just, I don't know. I, I like, I've given it pretty much everything it wanted lots of light, um, mycorrhizal inoculants. I've even fertilized it a few times, even though it hasn't grown. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna give you fertilizer anyway. And nothing. She hates me. She hates me so much, but I will never get rid of this plant. The only way I will ever get rid of it is if it dies on me. But otherwise, she's, she's with me forever. I love her very much, but she is quite literally testing my patience. I did show this one in my ugly, I, I don't know, I showed this in a recent video, not a recent one, but I showed it in a video where like I was showing maybe ugly leaves or ugly plants or something. This is my, you would never be able to tell, but this is a philodendron holtonianum. Look at her. Is this my fault? Yes. Did I think I was gonna try a little bit harder this time. Yes, have I? No. So is it my fault? Yes. But to, to be fair, the first time I owned this plant, um, I put it on a pole. I put it on a pole. I thought I was giving it everything. I've always had it in my tent, giving it what I believed were like ideal conditions. What is that? Please be a moss, please. Oh, just like a thrip. It's so weird. Tell me that does not look like a thrip. It's literally part of the leaf. Wait, look at those two little specks right there. 
I will try and circle it and zoom in. But don't those look like thrips? Anyway, um, yeah, the first, oh, that's sticky. The first time that I owned this plant, yeah, gave it a pull, <coughs> gave it what I believed were ideal conditions and it still hated me. And not only that, it actually just completely died. And she's like, well, um, Alice's who I got it from, hers is growing so huge. Hers is ginormous and I'll throw a photo next to me of what hers looks like and I don't even think hers is on a pole. I think hers is just like growing up an invisible pole. I don't know. It's it's doing something and uh, mine is just, mine's a sad little road grass guy. I do really enjoy this plant. I mean, not when it looks like this, but I enjoy the leaf shape of the whole Tanianum. Um, I just am not enjoying this juvenile stage of trying to, you know, glow it up because it's not working for me. She, she hates me very much. But to be fair, I'm not really giving her much to work with at this point. So this is another one that I'm going to have to uh, rehab and um, sort of nurse back. I think I am going to like peel off a lot of these lower leaves and get it on a pole, get it repotted because it's definitely outgrowing this plastic cup and I guess we'll try a little bit harder. I am frustrated with it, but I'm not at the point yet where I'm like, you gotta go. This one is an interesting one. I've got some shit to show you guys because this this confused me a lot. So this is my Begonia Malachostica. And someone tell me why, I'm gonna get really close, but tell me why it's like pushing out from every single auxiliary point possible that it has. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight growth points just at the top, not to Okay, I just broke that off. Not to mention all of these ones are growing out too. Like, it looks insane. Not only that, can we talk about the bottom of it? There's like little tiny begonias shooting out of this stem. Do you guys see that? It looks disgusting. What is that? What's happening? I didn't even know that they could grow like this. Like, what do you mean? Like, am I just imagining this? What it like? What is happening down here? Uh, it's like I thought I knew everything about begonias, but clearly I don't have a clue because what the hell is happening here? It's like a, an army of like begonias just decided to shoot out of this stem, and it's honestly it's creeping me out. But. Safe to say this plant freaking hates me. I do like it very much. I think it's a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful begonia. It's like one that I definitely like, my jaw dropped when I first saw it. But from like what I've been doing obviously isn't working. I don't think, I don't think that this likes being in cold temps and I also don't think it likes being in hot temps. So I don't really know where to put it. Um, I had it growing on my living room shelf before I had it growing on this shelf, I had it growing in this EXO, in this Millsbo, and now in my tent. And the only difference I can like see is that in the tent it's pushing out a million bajillion growth points and honestly I feel like it's from stress. I don't think that this is good growth. I think this plant is just like feeling like it's dying and it needs to just like try and preserve its life. That's kind of sad, <laughs> but it looks crazy and I don't know what to do with it. I could just chop it. Like I was thinking of maybe like chopping it down here and then just rerooting it because this stem is getting really long and gangly and there's like nothing going on up here. At least nothing productive. Like I wouldn't even doubt if these leaves up here don't even grow out to be like full size leaves. Like they just stay like these really teeny tiny premature leaves. This plant is not bringing me a lot of joy right now. To be honest, I should have just sent this whole thing to Fern in her package because she's, I feel like she's way better at growing begonias than I am. And I don't even think she's growing them like in a greenhouse or anything, but we're gonna give it a try. Honestly, I could just do like a whole video repotting some of these. And if it wasn't for my arthritis today, I probably would just do it today. But yeah, they need, they need help for sure. Um, honestly, that's all I had on my list, but I'm pretty sure I can, I can, uh, show you guys some more. Who else is pissing me off? Ooh, there's another one. 
I don't even know why I didn't have this on the list originally. This one, it pisses me off more than any other plant in my collection. This is a, what is it? An Anthurium Exipulatum. Guys, when I tell you that this thing does not like low humidity, is she's not joking. 100% or nothing. If it doesn't have 100%, she turns into wet spinach. So there was one time I was filming a video, I took this plant out of my prop box for like 20 minutes and by the end of the 20 minutes, this thing was just like wet. I don't know if I'll be able to throw in the footage of it. If I do, hopefully I can find it. I'll put it in next to me. But that's what it looked like. Maybe not even 20 minutes out of the greenhouse and it just wilted completely. And the second that I put it back, she's like, oh yeah, I'm fine again. But if she thinks that I'm gonna keep her around and always have her in 100% humidity when she's like a full grown plant, she has got me so all the way f***ed up that like, yeah, she's she's out of touch with reality. She doesn't even realize. But you know what? That's, and I, I said it in the video where I showed it, that that was 100% my fault. This was a impulse purchase. Um, I like the way the leaves look. I still think it's one of like the most beautiful Ethereum I've ever seen and was like, oh yeah, duh, sign me up. I want it um, without doing any research into it, not realizing that this is a plant that requires very high humidity. And I vowed, I told myself I was not going to own any of those plants in my collection because I don't, I don't have anywhere that I can put it where it would be happy besides a little prop box like that, which it's already outgrowing. You can see she's touching the top. So this one is gonna be rehomed soon. This actually might be the last time you see it. I am sad, I'm not gonna have an XTP Latum, but I know that I will feel better once she's out of my freaking house. And I don't know, there's a lot of people locally that have like legit terrariums or have super, super high humidity greenhouses that will be able to grow this, but I'm not the one. In the spirit of um, making videos that are not always a minimum of an hour long, we are gonna conclude this video with my philodendron linamii. You're probably wondering, wow, Sherman, you have a philodendron linamii? Yes, I do, but I never show it because she always freaking looks like this. Um, you guys can see I grew it from a chunk and you can see all of these leaves that have grown in my care that have all looked like this. I have like legit never had a normal looking leaf. I have, again, I've grown this in pretty much everywhere in this plant room that you can think of. I even tried growing it on my living room shelf. She hated everything. And it's weird because I don't see a lot of people out here like struggling with the linamii. Granted, she did have spider mites and she probably still does, but I have plenty other philodendrons in my collection, including my, um, which I'll show you, is my philodendron quellii round that was like infested with spider mites, but she's actually growing a lot better now. Um, and in general, you guys know that I'm just always, I always have pests, but so many of them, like they'll have damage, but they'll still grow fairly like normally. Um, this one, however, it's like she wants it perfect or she wants nothing at all. Uh, there's another leaf coming, but it's gonna look just like this. I'm not, I'm really not even holding my breath to be honest. Um, but I'm not going to give up because I do really like this plant. It is super similar to the Nangra Tents, which is why I never bought one. But when Alice had a, you know, a chunk of it, I, obviously I wasn't going to say no. But yeah, I, I really thought this one would be easier than the Nang because I haven't had luck with the Nang as well. Uh, but it looks like we're just, you know, history is repeating itself and we're just back. We're back where we started. I do think though that I could repot this because right now it's just in tree fern fiber and I can get it probably on a lazy pole or something where we can like do something with this stem because right now it's just like a fish out of water but yeah I guess the moral of this entire uh, video is that I could probably doing I could probably be doing what I could probably be doing I don't know that sounds right I could probably do a lot better um and I yeah really a lot of it is chalked up to the fact that I just have so many plants. And um, I've spoke on this before where I feel like because now this is like essentially part of my job, if I downsized my collection to like an amount that would feel really comfortable for me, I, I don't think I'd have enough to show you guys on a weekly basis. Um, nor do I feel like I should have like an insane amount of plants just to, you know, 
sustain myself on YouTube. But at the same time, I feel like most of my plans, like minus the ones I just showed you, most of them I'm really, really loving. A lot of them are ones that I'm I'm really trying to like glow up or I'm, I'm trying to like do better this year. Uh, so I don't know. It's like a never ending seesaw of just like, do I have too much? Do I have enough? Um, I'm bored of my collection. Um, I, I'm overwhelmed with my collection and I just, I think that's like kind of a dilemma I'm always going to go through on this, um, in this hobby because I've definitely, you know, been at a point where I was like super overwhelmed, but it seems like everything that I have in my collection right now are like staples for me. Like it would feel worse to get rid of them. But mind you, I have gotten rid of a lot of plants, a lot of plants last year and this year. I would say I probably got rid of, I probably got rid of a total of 30 to 40 plants um, over the course of the last 12 months. So still doing a lot better than I was in 2021 for sure. I definitely don't have as many plants as I did before, but with the addition, with the addition of my second channel now, plus, you know, work, it's just a lot sometimes. All that to say, I am not the best plant parent all the time. I would categorize myself as okay at best. And you know, that's just kind of where we are. So anywho, those are the plants that are really freaking testing my patience right now. I hope you enjoyed them. I wonder if any of you guys are struggling with the same plants that I am. Uh, of course, if you have any advice for me for any of the plants that I showed, please uh, feel free to chime in in the comments and and school me because all of these can take they they need they need something. I'm just sorry. I'm like it's so ASMR to crunch this leaf. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, any advice is appreciated if you have success with any of these plants. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps us a lot on YouTube and I will see you guys in the next one.